In the latest development of their increasingly controversial public engagements, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle has sparked renewed speculation about their connections with the World Economic Forum, or WEF. Their recent activities, particularly their visit to Colombia, have led to accusations that they are acting as pawns for the global elite. Recently, the Embassy of Colombia tweeted about the conclusion of Harry and Meghan's visit, which was described as a socially inclusive initiative aimed at bolstering joint projects between Vice Colombia, Mini Guav Colombia, and the Archwell Foundation. The highlighted objective of this visit was the financial empowerment of youth and women, a phrase that immediately raises red flags for those familiar with the WEF's agenda. The WEF has long championed digital inclusion and financial empowerment, often through initiatives that promote digital ID systems and data sharing between financial institutions. This focus on financial inclusion, particularly for women, has been a recurring theme in WEF strategies. Critics argue that these initiatives are less about genuine empowerment and more about expanding financial control and surveillance. The criticism is amplified by the observation that Harry and Meghan's visit often followed WEF events. For instance, their trip to Nigeria occurred shortly after a major WEF event in the country. Similarly, their recent visit to Colombia coincided with WEF discussions on financial inclusion and digital strategies. The speculation now turns to their potential visit to India which could further align with the WEF's agenda if it happens as expected. In Colombia, the initiative highlighted by the WEF includes developing a new low-value, interoperable fast payment system scheduled for launch in May 2025. This system, spearheaded by Colombia's central bank in collaboration with the private sector, emphasizes co-creation, interoperability, efficiency, inclusion, and innovation. Critics argue that such systems, while presented as inclusive, often result in increased financial control and taxation, with inclusion serving as a cover for more intrusive financial mechanisms. The broader concern is that Harry and Meghan are becoming instruments for the WEF's agenda, using their status to promote initiatives that many view as part of a larger strategy for financial control and surveillance. The narrative of financial empowerment and inclusion is seen by some of a facade for more invasive and exploitative practices. This connection raises serious questions about the role of celebrities and royals in advancing the WEF's objectives. The notion that Harry and Meghan might be operating as puppets for the WEF not only questions their genuine commitment to social causes, but also highlights a troubling trend of high-profile figures serving the interests of powerful global institutions. The situation is further complicated by the perception that these initiatives are part of a broader agenda led by figures such as King Charles, who is also linked to the WEF. This connection suggests a coordinated effort to reshape global financial systems under the guise of inclusivity and empowerment. So, the links between Harry and Meghan's recent activities and the WEF's agenda have fueled significant controversy and criticism. The narrative of financial empowerment and inclusion, while seemingly positive, is viewed by many as a cover for more invasive financial strategies. As the public and critics continue to scrutinize these connections, it is clear that the role of high-profile figures in advancing global financial agendas is a matter of growing concern.